Hello, this is Timian, and welcome to Planet Crafter. In our next episode here of uh, the How To series, today we're going to talk about how to use the Biolab and other things like the Biodomes and the Butterfly Dome. Uh, first of all, we're just going to quickly go into the menu, and the Biolab is right here, and uh, it requires uh, two osmium three super alloys and one aluminum and it does take up about uh, 40 kilowatts of energy we're also going to be building the biodome uh, biodome tier 2 as well as the butterfly dome uh, these things are basically interconnected somewhat uh, the biolab is the same size as the big living compartment so it takes up the same space, uh, but this one does take up energy, whereas the living compartment does not. So the bio lab is basically used to uh, craft things. We craft some different things that you can't make using the uh, crafting station tier two or the advanced crafting station. Uh, the biodome, uh, it creates oxygen for you early. And it does open up a little bit of uh, some more menu items that you can see to obtain some things. Um, the Biodome Tier 2, it uh, just basically makes tree bark for you. So when you can use the DNA manipulator to change the flowers into trees. And then the Butterfly Dome, it is used to put two butterflies in and it increases your insects. Uh, the Biodome Tier 2, it increases your oxygen as well as plants, and Biodome increases oxygen. Alright, so without any further ado, uh, what we'll do is I've already built a Biodome here at my uh, my base. But it's on one of the very high up upper floors here. So we'll just go up here, and here we go. We are here in the Biodome. This is what the Biodome looks like. Now inside the biodome, uh, you will get this great big huge desk thing in the center here and it'll help you to create all these sort of things, like a big machinery. But as you can see, it's the same size as the large living compartment, basically four living compartments. Now inside here is the crafting station or the interface thing, so you just left click on this and um, as of this late part of the game here that I'm in, these are all the things you can craft. <clears throat> None of these things you can craft any place else. So we can do f make fabric, which is good, but we need two silk for that. Uh, we can make the bacteria samples, or three algae and three water bottle. Uh, bioplastic nuggets, which needs two mushrooms, silicone and a water bottle. Uh, fertilizer is three algae, one sulfur, two eggplants. Fertilizer tier two, need a fertilizer one, uh, one algae, one squash, and two methane cartridges. Uh, explosive powder requires two sulfur and two iridium. Mutagen requires one bacteria sample, one methane cartridge, and one sulfur. Mutagen tier two requires a mutagen, carbon larva, and honey. We can make pulsar quartz which is very good because there's a, a limited supply of pulsar quartz in the game. So you are going to have to make the most of these because uh, very few places uh, that you can find these things. So that requires one osmium, one zeolite, iridium, uranium, and methane cartridge. And last but certainly not least is you can make the high quality food with uh, one bean, one honey. And this restores 90 health and our health is like 100 so this basically restores all the health, all of the health <clears throat> okay so now what i have done in here is um since i pre-built this so i put up a little, couple little decorations here that you can see and i got three boxes here that each have my biodome tier one biodome tier two and the butterfly dome to make all that and also I have went ahead and collected all the all the ingredients we need to make all these things inside with using 
our bio lab. These are all the raw ingredients that uh, that I have already obtained. <clears throat> so we can make the bare minimum of this. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, uh, we can start talking about, you'll notice some of these things like bioplastic requires mushrooms. Uh, fertilizer requires like eggplant. Fertilizer tier two requires squash. So remember earlier we have the food, the eggplant, the squash, and the mushrooms. Uh, they were very low value for food, but they are used mostly to create um, these these items that, that that are here. Okay, same thing with the honey. The honey here is for the mutagen as well as making the high quality food. Now the beans are the best food, but you can make the high quality food, which is even better. All right, so what we can do is I'm just going to go over here, grab all our things right in here. Okay. Uh, so first thing what I suggest we, we do here is because we need those plants, as I always like to, I recommend that we build food growers in here first. So we have the tier two food growers. I'm just going to plop down four of these. I do left control here to plop down so I could do multiple ones. I press left control, left click. There we go. Nice. Uh, then I can put this very, very close. There we go. Left control, left click. And last, but certainly not least, left control. I don't need the left control. I just left click. And these are for food growers. What I would do is I want to put one of each seed. So mushroom, we'll put mushroom here and let's put a bean here and then we'll place a squash in here as well as a eggplant there. Eggplant seed there. So uh, I recommend putting food growers in here so then when you craft some things you can you have these things already growing inside inside your your bio lab all right so while those are growing and it'll take a while i've already have some of these ingredients already so oh one other thing here i notice here the fabric all right so to make the fabric you would need to make also make a um silk generator now i have got the materials to actually make a silk generator so the silk generator is right here. So we need three silkworms, which you can make uh, using the, the uh, incubator that I showed you in a previous video. Um, we need one zeolite, one bottle, one oxygen. So this is our silk generator. Now I'm just gonna put the silk generator right here in the corner. Plop that down there. Again, because we can make the fabric here, so we have the silk generator in here, it'd be easier. So these things just create the silk, which is right here, the silk. It just creates silk. So you just let that sit there and run and it'll create silk for you. All right, so that's that. So in order to make the fabric, you need two silk. So what you do is, I have two silk already. So you just left click on this and it is made and it is instantly put into your inventory. So if we go into our inventory, there's our silk fabric right there. Good. Okay. So now we next thing we can make is bacteria sample. Uh, you need these to make some other things, like for example, the bacteria sample makes the mutagen, and some buildings and places and locations you need to make. So if we just left click on this, and we made a bacteria sample, and it goes directly into your inventory. Bioplastic. Same thing, it's needed for construction to make some things. Two mushrooms, a silicon and a water. Right click on that, we make that. Fertilizer, that's needed for most of your plants that you, you want to create uh, and plant around your tree spreaders, your flower spreaders, almost all of those things. Uh, farms, things we need the first fertilizer for. So you'd be losing a lot of the fertilizer. And then there's fertilizer tier two. Well, you need a fertilizer tier one to make a fertilizer tier two. So 
hence why you need to make a lot of the fertilizer. And fertilizer tier one, algae, squash, two methane cartridges. Methane cartridges you can get from your gas extractor. And that'll help us obtain that. We can also, with the gas extractor, we also get oxygen on a regular basis too, which is, which is kind of good. But methane gas is made more than the oxygen is. So we'll just click on, click on that. And since we're running low on the water and the food, I'm going to eat one food. I'm going to drink one water so we can keep going. All right, so that is our fertilizer tier two. Uh, explosive powder uh, that's needed to make some things, things that you kind of like want to um, deconstruct or take apart. Uh, you need some explosive powder. And of course, two sulfur and one iridium. So we're going to have to make that. Mutagen, again, making some some of the uh, organic type things in the game. It requires one bacteria sample, one methane cartridge, and one sulfur. So we can just click on that. And then we have Mutagen Tier 2, which makes more of the same, more higher level items. Uh, this requires a Carmen larva, so you have to reach the stage where you can you can pick up the uh, the larva off the ground. The common larva, fortunately, it's like everywhere, so hence the name Carmen larva. It is very car common. So just left click on that. Pulsar quartz, as I mentioned earlier, is very valuable, and you'll be probably be making a lot of these these things you need for the higher levels, especially like the power fusion generator <clears throat> you need like five of these to create one of those plus the teleporters you need three for that and other things require the pulsar quartz to create so all you do is just left click on that and create that also we have the high quality food uh, i recommend getting that because you can create it from honey set up the beehives to get the honey and beans from the farms and you can create yourself some high quality food and you can let your food uh the food level go down very low and you can wait and but you can make that okay so there we go so there's all our things that we have made inside that's everything that we could we could make inside of the bio lab now what i'm going to do here is going to build our biodome tier one biodome tier two and a bio and our butterfly dome uh in these boxes i have all the materials for all this so i'm just going to scoot grab all these things inside here there we go now we got all my materials here um now you can put this anywhere on the ground same thing with the bio lab um you can attach them to the existing buildings building them on their own put a door on them uh they can pretty much go anywhere they're building i uh, building uh actual buildings so they can go anywhere uh what i'm going to do is i'm just going to for the sake of demonstration purposes here um it's not really going to make the base look very nice here but i'm just going to show what what we need to do to build so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add to this corner here but first what i'm going to do is I'm going to go to Q, bring up my build menu, and I'm just going to add on a small living compartment right here into the corner, just like that. Okay, so this adds on a small living compartment. Now, the reason I did that was because I can add on some, some of these domes over here. So if you put a dome in the corner on this side here and on this side here, it'll fit quite nicely outside here. But what I'll do is first, right here on this side, going out this way, I think I am going to put our, uh, yeah, yeah, our biodome. And as you can see, there's a little link thing, which means I can link up nicely right to here. Click on this, and there we go. We have our biodome. Now, I don't like to put the screen facing the opposite way, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect that or destroy that I guess put this on again now I can link it up but I'm just going to use my mouse button and, and twist it around so I'm used the mouse wheel to twist around so I twist used it twice and now I get my 
the screen facing right here. It just is a little better when you walk in here. You got the screen here. You don't have to run all the way over to the other side to look at the screen. Now, this biodome, it gives us all our menu items that we have here. So as you can see, but this is specific for biomass. So we have biomass, plants, and insects. And these are all grown. And these show our items that we have unlocked already or we can unlock. Just exactly like we have for the screen of the other one. And actually, we can see the other screen. This is the main screen, a terraformation screen. Oxygen, heat, and pressure. And those are all those things. And then we have biomass as well is added on. And plants and insects contribute. Uh, I imagine there's when animals come out, they're supposed to be the next, uh, next update. Fish, we're supposed to get fish eventually, and amphibians. And imagine they're going to be added on to biomass. Biomass is living creatures. So this this gives us the uh, basically our tech tree. Um, that's pretty much all it, all it does. It does create some oxygen for you. But it is a nice open space here. And what I like to do when I build uh, in my uh, my main base, which you can, you can see my main base right over there. Kind of a sprawling complex. But what I do put in here is I put a lot of my um, indoor uh, food growers, the veggie tubes, tier one, tier two, I can put inside here. Uh, I also put my food growers inside, as well as down at the bottom here, I got flower pots because they create a little bit. So this basically I kind of make, most like kind of like a greenhouse type thing. And then put all those things in here. Um, Sometimes I put a heater inside here, just some space, just use up some space. I've also seen other people use this as a bedroom, which is kind of interesting. All right, so what we do, so that's the Biodome Tier 1. So I can put that over there. So what's also good is if I go this way here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up and put the Biodome Tier 2 here. Now you see, notice that it does, I don't get that linking thing like I did before. That's because it's the way it, uh, the default positioning for the grid, it has it facing in another direction, which is kind of annoying sometimes because it looks like, oh, I want to connect it. But all you got to do is just twist your, uh, spin your uh, mouse wheel, just one way, doesn't matter which way. And now, now I get it linked up. And then here we go. Now we got our tier two biodome. What this does is you go right here to this display and here this makes tree bark for us, which we need tree bark to make the trees in the game. So this makes tree bark for us. So we don't have to go hunting around. We just, this creates it for us and it just slowly grinds along making it for us. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm also at the other end of this thing. As you'll notice, each side has a possibility for a doorway. But what I'll do is I'm going to put here, is I'm going to put our butterfly dome. Again, it doesn't show up because it's twisted the wrong way. I just spin my mouse wheel and now I'm linked up. And then I just left click. And here we go. This is our butterfly dome. Now this is a little bit different because we have the screen here. This doesn't make butterflies. We have to put butterfly larva inside these things. So you can put two, any two, the same two, different two, butterfly larva inside there. And what happens is, ooh, so this place has butterflies in it. Uh, you can't really build anything inside here. I haven't been able to build anything inside the butterfly uh, dome, nor have I been able to build anything inside of our biodome tier two. So it's just a big open space, kind of like a greenery, a greenhouse type effect. This creates our tree bark. We've got tree bark yet? No, not yet. Okay, so this is our tree bark. So these are our domes. So there we go. We got our Biodome Tier 1, Biodome Tier 2, and our Butterfly. And here is our Bio Lab. So we've created everything. And as you can see, I have all these things have been now grown. They grow pretty quick. 
but just nice. Take that, eat it, and then here, this is creating silk. A silk generator. Uh, as you know, I, I am using mods, and I use the uh, uh, inventory cheat mod, which I get stacks of 10 inside my inventories here. It's a little bit cheating, but I like it a little bit better to play the game that way. You can change that number to 100, which is kind of ridiculous, but this all storage increases by blocks of 10. Instead of a block of 1, you get block of 10. Okay, so this is the bio lab, along with the bio domes. Yeah, okay, so and also is the methane cartridge or the gas extractor, which uh, the gas extractor has has to be made outside. And then where's the gas extractor? Is right here. Gas extractor. It has to be made outside. You can't make that indoors, and it extracts gas, methane gas, from the atmosphere as well as oxygen. Uh, not going to build not going to build that here, here for today but this here is our biodome everything you wanted to know about the biodome uh, i'm sure more things going to be added on as time goes on okay and i think that's about it for now for this video uh, if you enjoyed this video hit the like button think about clicking subscribe it will help the channel a lot and it's free Smash the notification bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below. I'd love to hear everybody's comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.